Oh yeah, so this on the Enterprise, they have these containers marked with a radioactive symbol. Why would the Enterprise have so many, or just so many, and such huge storage tanks of radioactive liquid? Yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. So yeah, I, I agree that they're probably liquid mm-hmm. because of the pipes that go into it. I, yep. I guess they could be like grain silos. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I lived in the Midwest. This looks like a grain silo. So, so mm-hmm. they're probably liquid. That's my hunch. Yeah. And so why would it be a radioactive liquid? Again, my hunch is that the warp core, maybe this is early on in Starfleet's warp core technology. Like it's still the yeah. Enterprise a or or b maybe and and so maybe they've not dialed in the efficiency and so Mm -hmm. it's it's like it's like burning a furnace and just it's just too hot because they've not figured out how to like dial in the airflow and so within all that waste energy you need to cool the warp core otherwise it'll actually overheat and destroy itself um and so then maybe these is water maybe these water tanks that you run over the warp core so that way it doesn't overheat i i'm I'm modeling this over nuclear reactors where you have nuclear reactors that will overheat and melt themselves so you pass deuterium you pass heavy water that's that's water with with hydrogens that have extra nitrogens because they're very good at absorbing alpha particles and so but that means you need to have it on a separate water circuit because you can't put that water back into the city and so then you have water that's at least temporarily activated slightly radioactive for a little bit and yeah I guess I guess that's what this is. So this is coolant that's slightly radioactive. Doesn't need to have huge protection, but it should be stored and marked separately. We need a lot of it because our cooling mechanisms aren't super efficient right now. And there, because the the warp drive itself is not efficient, it's overproducing energy. Right. And so this is the storage location for yes. the cooling water. I like it. I like it. Sounds good to me. Because this is a lot of water. It's a lot mm. of a lot of cooling. A lot of infrastructure, a lot of mass. I, I would be, yeah, right. Like, it, I don't even, I have no idea what the scale is of the enterprise. Like, <laughs> where is this room? Like, they always right. like, here's the warp core, and it's like a single room, and then there's this giant thing here. I guess that's, I guess, yeah, that's more to the statement of, of like when we're in the enterprise for Picard, the enterprise, I think that's a D. The warp yeah. core is like a, like a two yeah. floored room. ballroom. Like, that, that's it. Right. Like, it's, it's compact, it's tight, and efficient. Maybe this and, is stuff is humans have not really figured out how warp, cor- warp cores yet work. Right. Work yet. Makes sense. So the next generation is farther in the future. And so oh, it's the next generation. Yeah. So they make things, you know, tighter, more efficient. So all this cooling requirement is not needed anymore. I like it. I guess. Anything else? What else could this be? That's the best explanation, I think. Why Second else would you to radioactive grain? <laughs> <laughs> I guess what if it's the fuel? Oh yeah, it could be that. It could be like um yeah, heck yeah. Okay, let's let's mush those ideas together. The the fuel for the warp core could be radio radioactive or radio mm-hmm. close to active grain pellets. And so you would use a like a you pellets, like so you use a grain silo because that's okay. how you could transport these little pellets around. Yeah, maybe. Okay. And then they're in radioactive containers to keep it you know, isolated, but you also need a lot of it. So you mm. store them here. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. It looks precarious to work here though. It does, yeah. Man, I would shoot, if I was an enemy and I wanted to shoot the Enterprise, this is a spot. Yep. I'd want to Yeah. Hit. Even if you destroy my ship, but your, your ship, your crewmate has to breathe all this, that seems like a bad time. Right, or if it's fuel, I get rid of their fuel. If it's coolant, well, even better, make them blow Ooh. up. Yep. Seems fragile. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 